okay, I was going to do a new episode, but then I came across the progress update for 0 0.6.0 uh, going over the way the game is going to be. It was saying, let's take a look real quick over at what they're saying about when this is going to be. Uh, it says uh, the 6.0 test bench scheduled to go live on July 30th. Uh, this is going to start, and then it'll be another t two months at least before it goes to the default branch. But the stuff that it's got in it looks amazing. It's it's going to be a whole another level. I definitely have to start a new new series. We're already on episode 26, I think, on our current series. But let's let's take a watch of the the trailer here. And we'll kind of go over what we're seeing and stuff. Okay, first off, here we've got dealing with the logs and large items. The logs are no longer going to go into your inventory. You're actually going to show carrying them. Plus, for making things, you just hit it and that'll turn that into firewood. And then if you want to make law, um, like planks, they're going to have you using your saw, which I think you're still probably going to have your table saw and things like that too, that this is just showing that part of it. This looks really cool, the new display cases where you can store this stuff instead of having it in a locker where you can't tell what's in each locker. This way you can put all your weapons, and your armor and ammo and things like that in this case so when you need one of them you can just go and grab what you need instead of going like well you see in my episodes I'm going from one locker to the next trying to find where anything's at because I'm not very organized <laughs> when it comes to putting away items and then you can actually set down and rotate items now too kind of like a instead of just being able to move like and rotate a supply case or a, a locker you can actually do that with the items themselves that's another new item on the floor there they'll, they'll talk a little bit more later in the video about it's the flamethrower <clears throat> and now it looks like you can just, instead of going to a workbench, it looks like you're going to be able to just upgrade weapons in your hand, which makes sense you, 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 as long as it's just latch on stuff like that. And then st ammo storage too, that's really cool. So all you have to do is go look at it and hey, there's uh, that's the bullets I need and grab them out instead of like I say, going from different rooms. If you other thing you'd notice, look out that window the detail in the, the forest and that building that you were in, that house, looks more like one that was in one of the later versions of the game. In this restaurant with the vending machine where you can actually access the the drawers and stuff and then you can do this with the vending machine and actually get drinks out of it. The drinking animation looks about the same. This is this is definitely new. The the detail on the new zombies is really good. It's not that shirtless guy that always is walking around. Plus now you have more of a blood splatter too. The bolts don't seem to really affect it unless you hit it in the head. Now you got the blood pooling too. Yes, there's different kind, three three different zombies there just alone. Doesn't really show what other ones there are. React 
connecting to the dead pig. Now they come after you. Now you get blood splatter around your edges. And it shows you what wounds you've got. This is that flamethrower that I was talking about that was laying on the floor there. That's gonna be cool. <laughs> and how they react to the flames too, it's really neat. new car model. You can actually go into the engine compartment instead of having it come up onto the screen where you have to set stuff and you can go inside of trailers and watch how the put the battery in you have to actually go into the engine compartment and put the battery in it. It shows what the percentage of the engine is. This is really cool to put in gas instead of putting it in and say fill from can you have to actually shows you putting the gas into the tank which is really cool I like the model of the car truck too no. I don't know if I like the engine noise it could be a little more beefy to the truck this is neat. You can actually haul trailers now. We got first and then third person view, which they'll show you in a little bit. See? Roads are a little bit rougher looking. Well, this is like an off road trail, I guess. And then we have our road. But this whole area is different. The, the woods are really thick. That looks like a new outpost. I don't recognize anything. I don't know if the whole map is going to completely change. Which I'm fine with that. This map looks a lot more realistic. Now we've got ATVs. I don't know how, you know, how uh, good they'll be for protecting against a zombie or a attack from bandits, but we got the carry feature where you fill the tank from the can. I like the sound of the ATV, it sounds really good. Oh, a small trailer that you can pull with your ATV. You have to get off to hook it up, too. You can't just back up to it and have it auto-attach. Okay, we've got... Okay, carry a, bail, a barrel. Is that a barrel of fuel, probably? A can in our propane tank. Well, the fact that they're not going to let you, like, haul large items in your inventory anymore. I love that they have this new stuff that you can use to carry it. Looks like a lumber mill? That's definitely a new place. There's a place up on the hill, that log cabin up there. I don't know what that's... That's going to be really cool. Oh, okay. That's explosive. So you can use that as like a, a booby trap, maybe? You put it out at your gate's edge. When the zombies start attacking, you can use that to blow up. Okay, we got mini tanks, which I'm pretty sure these are probably for your flamethrower. And then you... Okay, that's neat. You can refuel it from the main tank. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's for your flamethrower. I'm 
loving the detail and animation now. Get a couple of them going at the same time. That's really neat. Now that trailer over there, that makes it you can have an actual, oh, the ground and stuff start a fire. Oh. But now you can have a movable base if you can live inside that trailer. Just take your base with you, keep your lockers inside of it, and you have all your items with you all the time. And then have like a main main base with all your um, cabins and things like that. Which I'm pretty sure they're still going to have all the cabins and everything like that. But this is just all add-ons. New interactions with the bandits. Okay, he looks wounded. Now I wonder if, if you could take him prisoner. Or if you just shoot him right out. That That... That's kind of wrong. <laughs> but, oh, is this new? I wonder if that's something you can build. New defensive fences like that. Is this your base? Oh, sorry about that. Antivirus thing popped up. Oh, this is a new building. Looks like a, a Japanese like dojo or something sunflowers a lot better variety of cars and trucks oh looks like a garage I wonder if that's something you can interact with or a motel maybe or a hotel I mean wonder if the zombies are going to be inside these buildings during the day or is it just going to be coming out at in a mist and I'm not seeing the green mist anywhere yet in the trailer or update not really a trailer it's just the update In all those cases, I wonder if you can interact with those. They didn't. They didn't really specify that you can. Oh, train tracks. That's new too. I don't know if there's any gonna be anything from the old map. It's going to be like a whole new game. Comes out July 30th, which I won't be making videos for the month of August. So come September, we will definitely have some really cool new Miss Survival episodes coming out. It might not be on the the main branch yet, but I might be able to get to it on the test branch and do some episodes through the test branch because it did say that it's going to take about two months for it to get to the to the default branch or the main branch. The lighting inside the buildings is a lot better too. And I wonder if you can set up in any of those houses that you, you choose to. Ooh, is that a mine? I wonder if that's one you can enter. Because that's one thing I had not really found in the new... Ve um, the, the version that we're playing now doesn't really have a good mine on it with a lot of resources very sparse in the mine that's there okay that that trailer definitely or that update 
It's definitely got me very excited for the future of Miss Survival, that is for sure. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments what you think about the new version. Are you excited? I'm definitely excited. Have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you in the comments.